Tales of a sea monster lurking in the depths of Loch Ness have been shared for thousands of years. But a new sonar image captured 500 feet below the surface of the loch is being hailed as groundbreaking proof Nessie really exists. And it's the news one man has been waiting for for almost 30 years. Steve Feltham has uh, dedicated his life to searching for the Loch Ness monster and he joins us now. Morning, Steve. Good morning. Good morning, Phil. Morning, Holly. So, um, you, as I said, been hunting since 1991. You made the Guinness Book of Records for the longest continuous monster hunt vigil. Congratulations. Um, here, is the, uh, here is this incredible evidence that's come to light, but you didn't find it. Good friend of mine got that contact from his boat, Ronald McKenzie, that operates a boat at Fort Augustus. And it's just spectacular. It's just... Is there a monster in Loch Ness? Bam! There's one right there. So could well, you... people, people are saying that, that, you know, there will always be cynics who say, it's a shoal of fish or something along those lines. Uh, a sonar contact with a shoal of fish would be much more fuzzy around it. It'd be a similar shape, but it wouldn't be that distinct, crescent, croissant-looking-like shape there. It'd so... be a lot more blurred. Not a shoal of fish. So just explain what we're seeing here, because I'm looking at that and I can see lots of beautiful colours, but I don't really know what I'm looking at. So, so the deep bit there is the bottom of the loch, right? The red bit. See the red line? That's, yeah. That's everything above that red line you should be looking at. Everything below it, forget it. OK, and so the so, thing that's circled there that looks like the little blue croissant, yeah, as you called it, yeah. that's what we believe is Nessie. Absolutely, so, yeah. The, so what's uh, Nessie uh, the, doing? Is Nessie asleep? Absolutely not. It, the boat has just passed over the top. That's 650 feet of water that it's in there. And it's down near the bottom. It's about 50 feet off the bottom. So the cruise boat that he's on is going along. That's the red line right at the very top of the screen there. And the cruise boat is travelling along. And that's like a timeline underneath the boat showing you what he's looking at. And he's passed over it for about 10 seconds. That big, solid, single object down 50 feet off of the bottom of the Loch Ness, something the size of a transit van. So have you been back out there? Have you gone out there? Because you do a lot of this sort of searching as well to see whether it's still there. Philip, I'm, as I'm talking to you now, here is the door of my van and I'm looking straight down the whole length of Loch Ness. So I'm not even off duty when I'm talking to you now. I'm still, I've got one eye on the Loch there. <laughs> so have you have you actually have you seen Nessie your, yourself or is it just in images like this? Have you ever actually had a sighting? Uh, it, it's a near sighting I had. It was something going against the waves, like a torpedo going through the water, just a spray of water off of this object. So that was in the first year of me being here full time, 29 years ago. And I thought, well, this job's going to be really easy. If I see it once in the first year, I'm going to see it in the second and third year. Mm -hmm. I'm still waiting for the second sighting. Well, this oh. is... I mean, we, we love it for your tourist industry. We love it when there is a sighting, especially something as positive as this. It's quite, it's quite fantastic. Monsters. Well, you, think of, you think of a monster. A monster is going to crawl out of the loch. It's going to come up the bank. It's going to grab people and drag them in. It's never done that. It's not a monster. No. What is it? Well, firstly, it's much whatever animals are in here, they're much more afraid of us than we are of them, which is why it's remained elusive for all this time. And what I would say about this sonar contact is that in all my years, my lifetime of studying this subject, there's nothing that I would stand next to so much as that image, that contact saying, bam, there is a monster on the bottom, near the bottom of Loch Ness. What it is, the jury's still out. There's a number of possibilities. And it's not a long neck, it's not one of these long neck dinosaurs that is the classic hope of, well, me when I was seven and many other people believed there was dinosaurs swimming about in Loch Ness. There's not. We would see those, I think. The most likely candidates are extremely big fish, but then it doesn't mean that that is the explanation. There's some people that believe there's a spaceship on the bottom of this loch. So all we know is. That's a contact with one of these animals. What animal it is? Waits to be I'm seen. Still oh, well, well, thank you. You get out there. You get out there and find it for us, will please, you? Please report back I'll immediately. Back. Steve, good luck. <laughs> Thanks, thank Steve. you. Thank you. I hope he finds it. Wow. I really do.